Hello class and Dr. Garcia. My name is Sean Marie Anderson. My golden rule for counseling is speak up. I think it is important to be a voice for those who are unable to speak for themselves. One area that this rule can be applied is in assisting people in the community who suffer from mental illnesses such as schizophrenia, Asperger's syndrome, or bipolar disorder. People with these disorders or others may have a reduced skill for communication and getting along with others in a family. This leads to a higher potential for outbursts or for acting out violently or aggressively. People who suffer from undiagnosed disorders in particular may find that they are kicked out of the home after an outburst and are without resources. Facing the overwhelming task of fending for themselves, these individuals may self-medicate with legal or illegal substances or they may act out and find themselves involved with people who demonstrate bad influences over them. This is quickly followed up with entry into the criminal justice system. According to research presented at treatmentadvocacycenter.org, all one word, in the state of Virginia, the likelihood that a person with mental illness will be incarcerated rather than hospitalized is 3.6 to 1. People with these types of mental health issues are capable of being productive in society, holding a job, and learning skills that will help them to get along with others and resolve conflicts. But without mental health support, these individuals are likely to face the revolving doors of jail and the court system, being released and experiencing frequent recidivism rather than hospitalization, where they can be diagnosed and treated and provided with support and resources for independent or semi-independent living. Psalm 82, 2-3 tells us to defend the weak and the fatherless, uphold the cause of the poor and the oppressed, rescue the weak and the needy, deliver them from the hand of the wicked. I think these verses directly apply to the situation I have outlined and require us to step forward and speak up when we know someone with mental illness is experiencing withdrawal of family support, self-medicating behavior, or is in trouble with the law. It is absolutely necessary that we reach out on behalf of those who are unable to seek help for themselves. It is possible to reach those who are already incarcerated and to find support in such a way that we can prevent recidivism.